Hello everyone, it's John here again. I'm just wondering, do you enjoy talking to yourself? I do, I often talk to the wall. I often talk also to the sky and occasionally I talk to my partner, which is very similar. If you get my meaning, it was once explained to me that if you're walking down the road and you're in a foreign country and you suddenly hear your own language being spoken you suddenly realize that things are different I'll give you an example you're walking along the road yak 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 in your own language and you're deeply engrossed in the conversation laughing uh, having a giggle about something and suddenly you're in a foreign country and you hear somebody speaking your own language. You immediately stop and realize, oh, that's a Filipina. Or, oh, there's a foreigner there. Because immediately your brain goes to what you know best, which is your own language. And this is the problem that you have when you're trying to have a reasonable conversation or bring up an issue with your girlfriend come wife, maybe. You try and have a serious conversation and of course you're up against the two second line mark. I call it the two second line mark because that's the length of time you can manage to get somebody to pay attention to you. It's called an attention span of about two seconds, if you're lucky. Maybe it's point two of a second. But you know what I mean, you know, you're trying to have a serious talk with your person that you're living with. And obviously they speak Tagalog if they're in the Philippines, or they speak Thai if they're in the Thai country in Thailand. But you'll also notice that the minute somebody in their own language speaks to them, whilst you're waiting for your reply, they will answer their language straight away. And your language question will be languishing. Ooh, that's a mixture of sounds. Languishing in midair because you won't get an answer. They'll be distracted by somebody else. Often, when somebody is talking, say to their children, try and butt in. Try and find a gap between the words where you think you can say, Oh, I was going to say it will get you nowhere. In fact, you'll probably get a snarly look back as if you say, Dada, I'm talking. And you think, yes, you are. That's the point when you say, yes, so am I. When are you going to listen to me? Because so much of what I hear from you guys out there, when you naturally have got problems and you air them in view, or you might make a comment on the, on the site, it comes as a result of mis misinformation on her part. She can't quite grasp what you're meaning. And more importantly, she really doesn't have the time to converse in two languages at the same time. It's too much hard work. Now, if they want to talk to five people at the same time in their own language, no problem at all. But their five people versus your very important message. Forget it, boys. And this is why I always say the best way is the magic word, no. When they come to ask you for something in their very nice, smiling way, and they say, Dada, darling, sweetheart, sweetie pie, ignore them. Ignore them. Play deaf. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Oh, yes, it does. It's called playing them at their own game. After all, they chose you over all of the other foreigners. In other words, you were the best bet at the time. So, there's something that comes with that, and that is they'll use the word respect. Huh, my goodness. The word respect is thrown around like, like racist, like gay, 
like woke, like all of these other words in the English language, instead of just saying rude. It is rude to ignore your partner. I don't care what they say. I think if two adults want to talk to each other and the kids interrupt in their own language, you should say no. Hey, I'm talking, please. Can you listen? Can you spend the five seconds to hear me? And you'll be lucky if you get two minutes worth of actual listening and nothing will be resolved. So just remember it's a plain game of it's a, a simple game of trying to get their attention. That's why on a one on one, taking her out to a separate place where the children aren't there or the adult children aren't there and it's a one on one, you'll get hands being held, you'll be listened to, you'll be smiled at, all of the things that you want in a good relationship. But unless you put your foot down and say no or no more of this behaviour and if they want to sulk, okay, you sulk. Put it on, We're, we can act just the same as anybody else can because it's all an act to try and control us. Okay, so we'll control them. Why don't we, why don't we boycott them? Why, why don't we just behave in the same level? Because it does work. <laughs> it really does work. If you just ignore them, or you mope, or you sulk, they think, what's wrong with him? What's wrong, Baba? Are you, are you okay? Ignore it. Are you, you don't look happy. What's wrong? Sooner or later you can say, well, I'm feeling a bit flat. Why? Why are you feeling flat? Then there's your opportunity to slide in your, your chosen decision making or your chosen line of thought. Use this. You don't always have to use that to get their attention. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Come on, get some more of those thumbs up. And share and subscribe. And press that, remember, notification button? You can't seem to see it there yet. It's under my, th under my finger there. You have a great day. Bye now.